So this is exactly where I was when I got out and had my first court date because I had just pulled 16, almost 17 hours literally um, at a job. Uh, I think it was manufacturing, but I had to get up and go to court the next day via Zoom. Um, but I managed to get up by God's grace and mercy for it was a hearing for my son. And I had on my uh, my little scarf and everything, you know. I think I, I don't even really think I went to sleep because I didn't want to miss the court date because they was putting court dates on me back to back to back right after I got locked up on that false charge. Um, by God's grace and mercy, I made it, y'all. And I get up here and I sign in and I start seeing, you know, one thing that I didn't understand was, you know, the same people that I was trying to get away from just to figure out my life out to, you know, better my life for not only me, but my son. Um, it was the same people that I was trying to get away from. They was able to they didn't see me, but I wasn't able to see them. But what had got me was the judge just started laughing. And I figured it was because I had my scarf on. You know, it was still tied and like a little, I don't care if it was a regular scarf, a regular scarf, a broken print, whatever, but this lady literally started laughing. But she didn't know that I had just pulled all those hours at work, was still, you know, fighting to find a good, a good home. Um, was living in a subsidized housing, still being watched, still being stalked, you know, traumatizing that, that, you know, just finding your true identity and trusting in God and what God has for you. It's a lot, but we will continue to rise and do what we need to do as a whole, as a people. able to live in our true identity doing what God has called us to do. So this is really it's actually a, a table that was over there. I sat there and walked in a Zoom and the lady literally laughed while she told me I needed to be committed. I think she was more upset because, you know, they were trying to tell me things and I was trying to explain to them that I really felt that my life was in danger where I was at. And not only did they not assist, they literally did whatever they could to create charges on me to make sure that my son was given to the same person that I started seeing was working with a lot of other people um, just to keep me from finding out my true identity. But I'm forever grateful, you guys. I'm actually, you know, pulling my power back from a lot of these places. They thought that they could continue to do the things that they've been secretly doing for years standing where my ancestors have stood for a long time um you know it's a very it, it, on the outside it's a very beautiful very beautiful little area but yeah pulled 16 to 17 hours had court the next day came here and watched these people laugh in my face tell me i was going crazy because i wanted to get away and this is after serving time in jail for something that i didn't do just trying to simply protect me my son and the guy that I'm with, we was just literally just going to church, starting businesses, trying to be better and do better for us and our family and our community. And, you know, everything turned real quickly. And I say that to say, keep going. You know, a lot of us are fighting simply to be able to just live and breathe out here and thrive in our fullest form be able to involve and, and do things that we love to do without, you know, working our knees off. But yeah, this is it, you guys. I had my little first court and she was just a laughing, you know, and I was trying to explain to her, like, judge, you know, I, I, not only have I just did time for a crime that I didn't commit, simply because they was able to reword and rework and use documentation after I had filed a, a formal EPO or a complaint. Um, you know, she was basically assisting everybody else to throw me under the rug. These people already know what's up, you guys. I mean, I never thought that I would, you know, worry about hatred forever, but we're going to keep fighting a good fight. Never give up. Always give God all the glory and praise. 
Trust them in your own path, your own story. Love yourself, love your children, love those who love you. Send them prayers up. Looks like a storm's coming. All love, over and out.